What's going on guys? I'm Lane Rogers and welcome to Lockdown Lessons. I know a lot of people out there are having a hard time adjusting to this new norm that we're in right now and uh, we are, we're definitely adjusting uh, as well. Uh, we've always run our businesses virtually. You know, a lot of the things we've done were online and so uh, it, that part of it hasn't been quite as big of an adjustment for us. But everything else has been, you know, not being able to go to the gym or just get out and meet with people face to face. It's been a huge adjustment, and I know it has been for, for a lot of people, and that's where discipline comes in, and that's what I want to talk with you guys a little bit about today. So I was listening to a podcast yesterday, and they were talking about how crisis reveals what's already inside of you, and that's super true, especially right now. And so if you're a, if you're a disciplined person that you know is going to figure out a way to get the job done regardless, you know, going through this type of a crisis where you're quarantined and you have to figure out new and different ways to, you know, adapt. And, you know, instead of going to the gym, you figure out a way to get your workout done at home. Or instead of meeting with clients face to face, you hop on a Zoom or just things like that. You know, the person that's actually disciplined is going to find a way. Where a person that's not so disciplined is just going to lay down and be like, well, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't meet with my clients. There's no business out there. Everything's drying up. You know, it's just that mindset of, being able to find a way and staying focused on that. You know, Jim Rohn says, everyone must face one of two pains, the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. And that couldn't be much more true than it is right now. Uh, the podcast I was listening to yesterday also says, you know, a crisis requires adaptability. And that kind of goes back to being disciplined. If you're disciplined, you're gonna figure out a way to get things done. You know, there's tons of ways to do things digitally these days that didn't exist a few years ago. And although a lot of people haven't made the move to a more of a digital cloud-based type business, you know, this is the time, this is the perfect time to learn because I do believe the world is moving in that direction. And right now is the perfect time to kind of say, okay, well, if I can't work in my business, I'm gonna work on my business and start really adapting and learning all these skills and things you need to be able to stay face-to-face, -face, stay in touch with people without having to actually physically be there face-to-face. -face. So now's a good time, guys. So discipline is doing what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. And gosh, that, that's a hard thing to do. I know Patricia and my wife, for those of you that don't know, we were, we were kind of trying to figure out what we were doing with our schedule yesterday. And uh, we were talking about, oh, the new Ozark came out and uh, we watched the first couple of seasons. We don't try to watch too much Netflix, not too much Netflix and chill. But we said, okay, well, the new season came out. Let's limit ourselves to just one episode a day. That way we're not just binge watching Netflix and uh, cause that can steal away a lot of your time and you know, you can't get that time back. So Netflix and chill, just make sure you don't Netflix and chill too much. Um, and as far as going to the gym, well, we can't go to the gym. And one of the things that's really helped with stress levels and just mindset is just getting outside, walking around your neighborhood. Uh, and it's honestly, it's, it's a good time to get out there and just uh, get some sun. We're going into spring right now and uh, get out there you'll see some of your neighbors you never saw before. And although you've got a social distance, you know, you can at least wave at them from afar and they'll, they'll kind of figure out who you are. So that, that's a good thing to be doing right now. But yeah, mindset's huge. You gotta get out there, keep your mind clear, get out in nature uh, for sure. And then the rest of my workout I've just been doing at home. You know, I've got some dumbbells. I've just used various things around the house to uh, try to keep myself moving. You know? And guys, right now more than ever, you gotta be filling your mind with positive things. There's so much negative news out there. There's so many just story after story of negativity. And while you have to be mindful of these things and you have to be mindful of your environment, there's no, nothing that says you have to dwell on it day in, day out. That, that will kill you right there. You can't do that. You've got to put, be putting positive things in your mind. I mean, there's a wealth of free stuff out there. All you have to do is go on YouTube, look up mindset, look up positive things. There is a wealth of information out there these days, totally free that can keep you in the right mindset as we're going through this crisis. And at the end of the day, we're gonna get through this. If we keep filling our minds with the right information, if we keep our discipline up, if we keep our mindset up, if we keep our health up, if we're making it out, at least getting some sunshine, getting some fresh air, and we're staying positive, we're staying motivated, we're spending time with our families, we're gonna get through this, and hopefully we're gonna get through this even better than we were when we went into it. So guys, what are you doing to stay positive? Do you know of any good books? Do you know of any good YouTube videos? to help people stay positive during this crisis that we're going through. It's just a quick message today. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, please comment below. We'd love to see what you guys are doing to stay motivated, stay healthy, stay productive during this crisis. 
And as usual, if you need anything at all, give us a shout and we will see you on the next video.